Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, May 2nd. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather turning cooler, getting wet. When will the rain start and stop? We'll see if we can answer all your questions about the weekend. Let's take a look at some of the Skycam shots around the network this morning. We'll start way down south, and man, it's been raining on the uh, Alabama Gulf Coast. That's our uh, Skycam at the battleship USS Alabama. Some parts of Mobile County receiving almost 10 inches of rain over the past 24 hours with major flooding problems. In fact, uh, uh, Baldwin County has a flash flood warning just expiring as I do the update early this morning. But up this way, pretty quiet. That's a look at uh, downtown Birmingham from the Daniel Building and a quick peek at downtown Jasper where things are quiet. The upper feature that's been over Louisiana will uh, uh, begin to shear out and, and move southeast away from us, and that will lose its impact on us. But, of course, the, the next issue is that big trough over the plains that will be cutting off is an upper low over Oklahoma by tomorrow. There's a peak of the radar this morning at 5.04, and you can see that uh, – uh, big mess down there over uh, Mobile and Baldwin counties and uh, that uh, green polygon. That's a flash flood warning for Baldwin County. And again, that's just expiring at about daybreak. And that's the uh, radar estimating the amount of rain that's fallen down there. And those brighter shades of red, that's eight inches over uh, western uh, uh, Mobile County. In fact, one off-duty weather service employee reported 9.93 inches in that. And uh, needless to say, there's been a lot of flooding problems. Temperatures to start the day are mostly in the 60s. The high today, only in the low 70s because of the clouds. And ooh, look at the cold air here in May coming down the pike. That looks more like uh, March or February. And uh, we're going to have a pretty chilly early morning period uh, over the weekend and early next week as we drop down into the 40s around here. It's not going to feel like May. Still got winter storm warnings for parts of Minnesota, Wisconsin, Freeze warnings down into Kansas and parts of Oklahoma and Texas. And, of course, the counties in Mississippi and Alabama, those are uh, flash flood watches and warnings. Uh, thunderstorms should not be severe. That's the good news. Uh, maybe some thunder in spots, but severe weather just not expected for the next five days. But a lot of rain. Uh, this is the rain expected through Tuesday morning of next week, about two inches around here. All right, model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS, 1 o'clock today at 500 millibars. You can see how the upper low that's been over Louisiana is kind of shearing out and moving to the southeast. The big uh, dominant trough is over the Plain States. And, and really, you know, no doubt we'll see showers around today, but I don't think it rains a whole lot. Uh, just occasional showers, mostly light rain here. And the cold front is uh, off to the west with that tight uh, gradient there. Tomorrow, there's the big upper low near Tulsa. Down below, that looks kind of wet. In fact, uh, looks like the, the rain tomorrow will be pretty widespread, so we'll kind of hit that harder with uh, rain likely much of the day uh, into tomorrow night. All right, now the, the news is better for Saturday. Let's take a look at this thing. This is Saturday at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. The upper low is over northern Arkansas. And look at the dry slot moving into Alabama. Uh, and we've seen good consistency in the other models with this, so the, the uh, solution confidence is pretty high. So a soaking rain likely tomorrow and tomorrow night, then ending Saturday morning from west to east. Uh, and again, this is 1 o'clock, and this is showing the rain mainly over just far east Alabama. And let's look at the same uh, moment off the high-resolution NAM, I mean, and the model agreement is just excellent. Uh, again, at 1 o'clock Saturday afternoon, rain should still be falling around Weiss Lake and down toward Heflin in East Alabama. But really, for the rest of the state, we go dry. So this obviously is good for Talladega. Very good chance of getting the race in Saturday now, Saturday afternoon, after a rain Saturday morning and, and much of the day Friday qualifying. And that Friday race is going to be a problem. But Saturday afternoon looking much, much better. And uh, it will be uh, pretty cool, of course. Uh, we won't get out of the 60s tomorrow and Saturday. The uh, GFS is showing a high of only 65. Uh, this is Sunday. We're still in that dry slot, but you know what's going to happen? Or the uh, upper low is, again, just near Memphis. 
And again, that's that's a remarkable shot there. I mean, that's a classic Rex block over much of the country. You got an upper low that's near San Francisco, the upper low near Memphis, and it's just going to take a while to get this thing to move. Uh, there's the dry slot and. Uh, what's going to happen, I think, we'll have sunshine Sunday morning, and it's going to be a cool morning. We'll be down in the 40s, and then Sunday afternoon, you'll start to see the cumulus clouds developing, and they'll start to rise, grow vertically, and uh, some of those will form into showers Sunday afternoon. Um, and it'll be hit and miss, but I'll say this, uh, especially north of Birmingham, the showers could produce some small hail in spots because of the cold air aloft. So again, that bodes pretty well for Talladega, although there certainly will be some chance of scattered showers Sunday afternoon. Now, Monday, look at that. Holy cow. Cold core right on top of us. I mean, right smack dab on top of us. And uh, look at the lower thickness values. And of course, that's because of the cold air loft. It's not going to snow Monday, but it's going to be a very cool day. We'll struggle to get out of the 50s. Uh, clouds and showers on Monday underneath the cold core. And again, the same thing with, with the cold air aloft like that, there could be some small hail and showers, even with no thunder and lone lightning. I don't think we'll have any thunder and lightning because the low levels are stable. Uh, Tuesday, the uh, upper low is over South Carolina. Still some wraparound moisture, but uh, showers should be pretty widely spaced. The air would be pretty dry. Wednesday, we go dry. We start to warm back up. High is getting back in the 70s, and there's Thursday. Uh, we might touch 80 as the temperatures come back to where they ought to be for this time of the year. We'll check the end of the forecast, May 17th. Some showers north of here, but again, as we've discussed in recent days, we see no severe weather look here uh, for the next 15 days, and that's great news. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We will have notes on our blog, alabamawx.com, and uh, can watch us on television or the live stream this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. <laughs>